Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day, which means we can officially wave goodbye to the drama of 2017 and say hello to 2018. Today, your Instagram feed is probably full of people saying, New Year, new me, time for a fresh start, and setting their New Year's resolutions. Last year, the most popular New Year's resolutions were to lose weight, to go to the gym more, and to eat healthily. Yet a UK poll found that one in two people didn't think they were going to achieve or stick to their resolutions. That's loads of us failing before we'd even tried. I know that I've never set a new resolution and stuck to it. In my entire 25 years of living, I have failed at New Year's resolutions. I've decided that 2018 is the year that I will set a resolution and stick to it. But I know that I'm going to need some help and that some of you guys might want some help too. So I decided to speak to my lovely colleague and our Head of Wellbeing, Natasha Parker, to get her tips on how to set and achieve your goals. Natasha had three tips to share with us. Tip one, set a goal that you actually care about. It sounds really obvious, right? But we're much more likely to succeed with our goals if it's something we're really passionate about. Natasha recommends visualising how you're going to feel when you achieve that goal. If you're going to feel alright, you're probably not that passionate about it. We want you to be jumping for joy when you achieve that goal. Then you know that it really matters and that you're going to have the resilience and determination to stick to it. Tip two, plan when and where you're going to do it. This is where you get specific. Get your diary out, plan it, plan a date, book it in with yourself. Natasha says that if your goal is a big lifestyle change, such as going to the gym every day, you need to decide when you're going to do it and make sure that it doesn't impact other aspects of your life that you really care about. Let's be honest with ourselves, are you really going to go to the gym after work every night instead of going to the pub with your colleagues? Probably not. So why not book it in to go in the morning before work or go for a run during your lunch breaks so you're not jeopardising your social life in order to achieve your goal? Tip three, make a when-then plan. Temptation is super easy and there are lots of hurdles and things that are going to get in our way as we try and achieve our goals. So Natasha recommends coming up with a plan so that when these obstacles do arise, you're prepared and you're ready. The idea is that when this obstacle arrives, then you will do X. For example, if Debbie at work makes amazing chocolate cake, but your goal is to eat it more healthily, then prepare yourself for that day when she brings in that dream cake. Practice your response, practice your answer, so that when it does happen, you're ready to say, that looks great, Debbie, but no thanks, not for me. It sounds easy enough, right? Now I'm armed with Natasha's tips, I'm going to set my 2018 New Year's resolution publicly for all of you guys, so that hopefully you can help me stick to it. This year, I am going to attempt <laughs> to completely cut out single-use plastics from my life. Wish me luck. What are your New Year's resolutions? We'd love to know more about them. Tweet us, comment below, Instagram us, let us know how you're getting on. And if you've got any amazing tips on how to stick to them, please share them with us because I'm going to need all the help I can get. If you'd like to read more about Natasha's tips or find out more about our work to help people set and achieve goals, follow the links below in the description. And as always, please subscribe to our channel to hear more from me. All that's left for me to say on behalf of all the Global Action Plan team is Happy New Year. We hope 2018 is an amazing year for you all, full of kindness, hope, love and lots of great experiences together. See you in two weeks.